What's up guys, for today's video I'm going to show you how to make fire burning last all night Especially when you're camping, that's a great trick One time I was in Hawaii with my friends and it was actually really cold We were camping out on a canyon And one thing I did not think in Hawaii that I was going to be cold And you know what, fire was keep burning out and we would constantly have to wake up Find some more fire, would put in a fire well, this steak, once you find the good logs, will actually keep you warm all night. Well, let's check out how it's done. The only thing you will need is an axe or even lighter folding saw. This one is, I put to the test a while ago. This one is a big katana folding saw and it's perfect for camping. Boom. And then we're gonna find a couple logs and cut them out. This is pretty decent log, we're gonna cut it up and we're going to make a fire last all night. What I'm gonna do is use this katana folding saw and let's see how long it will take me to cut off a piece of log like this. It shouldn't take too long because this thing is powerful. Look at that. I'm already halfway. And it only took me a minute. I love this thing. Of course, pace yourself. You don't want to burn out. All right, a little bit more and we got this. I haven't even lost the breath yet. This is awesome. Nice. I'm feeling it in my arms. But as you can see, I'm breathing fine. So now I need to make another log just like that, same size, not too big. Next, you wanna get a couple of small sticks like this and cut out a little dent inside of them from both sides. I'll show you why we do that in a minute. Next step, I'm going to show you how to set it all up. There's two big logs. One is bigger, the other one is smaller just a tiny bit smaller but pretty much similar size you can actually use similar size anyways this is why we cut these things out to lay it like this on one side and on the other side like this you want stay logs as possible this ones will do and boom and you see now both logs sitting on each other pretty well and there is a little bit of space between the logs what we're going to do is fill it up with little sticks in there right in between of it because little sticks that's what, how we're going to start the fire with so we're going to stuff it all up little by little to where it's going to be nice and thick layer of little sticks we need quite a bit of them and you want to mix it up with the smaller branches and some of them a little thicker branches just so that way it will go into start the fire really good today i'll just use a lighter i had a bunch of brush over here that i light up as well as you can see it's burning really well so just have some bunch of sticks and a dry grass and also i light it up on the other side so it will burn at the same time you know what, I failed. One more thing I forgot to do. We gotta take off all that bark. So, you don't need an axe. Would be nice. So, just make a bunch of chips like that. So that way it will be easier to get that log on fire. But it's pretty dry wood. Something like this. There you go. Get that bark off and make a bunch of notches. And simply what we need to do is just lay out a bunch of stuff so that way we can set it on fire. And then a bunch of sticks. So we're pretty much building a bonfire inside of the log. Also to get this wet logs on fire you will need a lot of small twigs this right here just to get the small twigs going on fire but i need smaller twigs than this just a uh, different kinds all over okay hopefully it will work the second time okay that looks good this two little 
logs I wish would be a little bit better or bigger so that way they would hold a little bit better but once some of this stuff burn off it's going to start holding those two little big logs okay let's slide it up okay and we're going to let it burn for a while and see what happens okay guys so that's what we want it's burning pretty good now I like it and of course you gotta feed the fire so what are we accomplishing here obviously these two big logs are very dense and because they're sitting like that on these two little logs the air the oxygen going through very easily from both sides so that way the fire can really burn very very well because there is a high flow of oxygen like a big chimney from both sides so that way even when the little sticks burn off look at that within 10 minutes this log is already charring really well especially from underneath over there in about 30 minutes we won't even need to add on any more sticks and boom guys there you go check this out look at this fire right now the little twigs are still burning but because of all this fire elevated it gives off a lot of heat even on a cold night like this it would be very very perfect actually to warm yourself up cook up some s'mores it's just amazing it's actually getting chilly over here but I can see now that actually the top log is burning really well so I'm pretty much going to slow it down on the twigs maybe a little bit more but I'm gonna just let them burn out because there's so much coals inside of there and so much oxygen going to in and out it's just gonna continue being very very hot and there's two big dense logs out here so they're just gonna keep charring very very hot for a long time so I'm pretty sure this fire is going to last a very, very long time. Pretty much all night. It's just going to continue charring. And if the log burns off, all you have to do is actually adjust it. So that way it gets closer to the coals and stays hotter. Now, as you can see, the actual log is burning. This one cracked in the middle and it's burning really well. So this whole log is gonna burn for a while because look how thick that is and it's definitely especially right here the log is burning so hot i'm not worried about these logs are going out anytime soon look how big they are and there's so much heat coming off from here right now that's insane okay i'm gonna wait another 30 minutes just to see what happens to this fire Alright guys, that's pretty much it. Obviously, as you can see, it's burning a long time. Just make sure if you're going to sleep, not too far from it. Nothing around it is going to get anything on fire. But it will be perfect way once you wake up and we want to warm up, really cold out there. You can come up to your fire and it's still burning, warm up. Maybe add on a little bit of twigs to get it warmer, a little bit more flames during the night. But other than that, I'm not seeing this fire burning out anytime soon. It's gonna last you a very long time. And you know what? In a survival situation, if you may be stuck somewhere in the mountains in a snow condition, I would sleep not too far away from it, just to enjoy all that heat from it. But again, be careful. Do not get yourself burnt. All right, guys, as you can see, all the twigs have burned out and now mostly just logs are burning especially this top one that's what we kind of trying to achieve between these two big logs but this one broke off and now burning it maybe the bottom one is a little bit too wet but it works as you can see the bottom one will catch on fire as well and once all that fire burns off it's going to just slowly gives off lots of heats with the minimum flames just wait and you'll see what happens so yeah guys what do you think for sure it's going to burn a very very long time look how hot it is in between of those logs and all the little twigs have burned out completely you see how hot those logs are burning in between there so if you want to have a bonfire last a very long time you want to use this technique that way you don't have to keep adding on on more fire and it giving off a lot of heat